So everyone, today we are going to make a 2D mirror in Unity. So as you can see in the game panel over here, we're going. This is the final result that we want to make later on. Now the process is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So let's make it from scratch. Now I'm going to disable this this mirror over here, and then let's make it from scratch now. Sorry, let's leave this for now. Alright, so let's make a mirror. Create a game object, get a sprite render inside. And then I have my own mirror sprite over here. Ta da! Looking good. Next you want to make is a square, which is just make it to the objects. And then square here. This will be our mirroring sprite. Okay, nice, good. Now to make another sprite that will that will only be can can only be seen inside a mirror. So I'm going to call it I don't know sprite sprite or something. And let's parent it into a game object called mirror world. Couldn't make it red, so you can see it later on. Now we have set up the entire sprite. Not yet, let's put it inside. Okay, let's set it up. Next thing we want to do is make a camera. So right click camera and I call it uh, mirroring camera. Good. Let's move it aside a bit. It's because we are making it to the uh, mirror, so let's change the perspective or the graphic. Later on, we will also change the size, but let's leave it at 5 for now. And then, just for testing, uh, let's make another empty game object that has a sprite for us to use for testing purpose. And let's, let's use this one. Now, the uh, camera is a bit odd right now because it's not rendering this home for some reason. So you want to make sure the Z axis over here is not 27 but 0. And then the camera over here is not you know too far, just make it 10 I guess. Uh, the same thing I have, you need to be very cautious also with the this mirror game object. Make sure it's zero. This one, this one also. This one is zero, right? Which once is not zero, sometimes you know cannot be seen uh, because it's not in front of the camera okay now the camera is basically is rendering this testing sprite let's make it small just so we can see the comparison of it okay let's set the camera next thing you want to do is make a material that will be used by this mirroring sprite and this mirroring sprite will use that material that use the view of the camera. So it's a bit complicated, but simply say it. Let's create a render texture called render text. I call it test mirror. Now the te texture render uh, has this size over here. We, you can set it uh, like whatever you want, but uh, let's leave it at 25, 6. For a moment right now the next thing you want to make is the material so create material put m this mirror some sort now i'm using urb right now but uh yeah don't use the 2d sprite shader but use the lid shader instead and then there's a pass map of here uh, just assign the mass map with the render texture. Once you're done with that, what you want to do is connect the render texture to the mirroring camera by assigning it to the output texture of here. Once you're done with that, the size of the camera, the ratio of the camera, is being set uh, accordingly to this the size of the render texture. Now, uh, we have now connected the mirroring camera to the render texture to the material. Next thing you want to do is assign this material 
to the mirroring sprite. So sign like so and done. Here we go. We just made a sprite that display the view of the camera over there. Okay, we're done with it. Let's uh leave it for now. Next thing we want to make is to make sure this sprite can only be seen inside of this mirror. So I've as I've made a uh, an R sprite that only displays the inner side of the mirror. This is a sprite, and we're going to use this sprite for mask for masking. So that's a component over here. A component to the mirror sprite mask, I guess. Yeah. Then assign this mirror inner side. So what you want to do is put this mirroring, mirroring sprite inside the mirror and then change the mask interaction to visible inside the mask and then change the order in the layer to one or something higher higher than the mirror once you've done that uh, it's nice and great now uh, we are not using the, this extra sprite for now for a moment but once uh, I went to uh, demonstrate how, what's the purpose of this you uh, know mirror world after we delete this testing sprite so we are no you no longer need this testing sprite anymore and let's put the camera inside the mirror like so okay now let's now let's move on to my scene up there put it up now basically the camera is now rendering this side of my scene that's why we are seeing this this odd part but let's move the camera so we can see our player over here so like so nice now as you can see the uh the mirror is kind of warped so let's adjust it a bit make it square or so This is working now it's kind of big so i'm going to make it smaller by changing the size of the camera this is too big nice now as you can see uh our mirror now is also rendering this towel over here so we're not we don't want that to happen so we want to cover the towel with this extra sprite that we have inside the mirror world cover it so and change the color to gray now uh we've covered the towel so it cannot be seen inside the mirror but we also cover it inside our main camera so we cannot see the towel we don't want that to happen so head on to the yeah uh, so we're going to add a layer that is called mirror. I've made mine myself here. You can add the new layer by adding new layer. So assign the mirror layer to the mirror world. We just change. Now, as you can see now, all of a sudden, my, our main camera is no longer rendering the extra sprite, but our mirroring camera is rendering the sprite. The reason is because in my main camera over here, make the cooling mask property uh, is checked to everything except the mirror layer. Once you check this one, as you can see, the our main camera is also rendering the extra sprite. But once we check that off, the mirror layer, it won't render the every object that is inside a mirror layer. So. You want to check that one off and then make sure your mirror camera is rendering everything unless you want to make something you know exception or make some complex mirror world of some sort you're good with that still not comfortable with this warping thing okay looking nice and great if you want to add another you know uh, sprite inside the camera, inside the mirror. You can 
basically add another sprite and I will assign this one to one then and we kind of make you know the reflection of the wall inside the mirror which cannot be seen at the other side of the wall so to make it more realistic let's undo that let's full screen and then voila we made a mirror basically okay now sometimes we don't really want to see this you know this extra sprite so just to make it less visible in our editor just head on to layers and then make it invisible okay this is basically it you can also make uh, a mirror that renders the opposite direction of your sprite the way is pretty simple basically you have to move the dz coordinate of your mirror camera to the positive it won't run there correctly until you rotate it 180 degrees like so so we kind of make this and you have to adjust it a bit but that's all about it thank you for watching and see you